Okay, so this is problem 7.15 out of Taylor's Mechanics book. Uh, someone requested that I did more questions out of Chapter 7, so I'm going to continue to do that. And before I get into this problem, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow it, so that helps a lot. Okay, so problem 7.15, I kind of drew a picture here, but we essentially have a mass on this frictionless table connected to a string that's attached to this pulley, which then is attached to... Um, actually don't, oh yes, there's a pulley, and then that is attached to a mass, which is hanging from the table. And what we want to do is to write down the Lagrangian and find the equations of motion, and I believe the acceleration is what they wanted, so we'll go ahead and get into it. So of course, to find the Lagrangian, the first thing we want to do is find the kinetic energy. We have one half m1 x1 dot squared plus one half m2 x2 dot squared so nothing too crazy here we just added the kinetic energies um we're also saying they're going in the same direction and we're kind of thinking of it as if you took this pulley and lifted it up because Really, this, uh, let me do it in a different color. This rope, because it's connected, I mean, I know it changes directions here, but because it's connected, any acceleration or uh, any acceleration, any velocity, any change in position from here corresponds to a change here. So they're really not that different, even though one's hanging and the other's not. So our kinetic energy is just the sum of the two, one half m1 x1 dot squared plus one half m2 x2 dot squared. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, kind of a physics one problem there in a way. The potential energy, well, kind of depends where we let our potential energy be zero. If we let this be u equals zero, just explicitly stating it out, then the only potential energy is coming from the mass 2, which is below. So it'll be minus m2g, and then we'll just call it x. Okay? Depending on, you know, obviously x determines how far down it is. So with that in mind, we can now construct the Lagrangian, which is just t minus u. So we have one half x1 dot squared m1 plus m2 plus, because of the minus sign, m2 g times x. So that's our Lagrangian. And now we want to find our equation of motion. So we'll use the Euler Lagrangian. And that's the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to, in this case, x, our generalized coordinate equal to the time derivative of the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to our generalized velocity, which is just x dot. So dl by dx is pretty straightforward. That's just going to be mass 2 times g. And on the other hand, that's equal to d by dt of the derivative of our Lagrangian with respect to velocity. So if we do that, that'll just be x1 dot m1 plus m2. And then we take a time derivative of that. Uh, I don't know why I used x1. These should just be x's now because they're the same. That should just be x. Okay. So this is x double dot now, m1 plus m2. So then the acceleration, x double dot, is pretty easy to solve for. We just have to divide over by m1 plus m2. And this is the acceleration of the two blocks. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, we just wrote down the kinetic energy. We wrote down the potential energy. 
And from there, we could write down our Lagrangian with our Lagrangian. We can do our Euler Lagrangian, and with our Euler Lagrangian, we can solve for position. Um, hopefully, all of that makes sense. Some people might be, I just want to emphasize this, I did this in a different video, but you could think of the length 1 plus length 2 as equal to some constant, which for the potential energy, for example, x2 is going to be minus x1 plus L, but the length itself doesn't actually contribute for a potential because it's arbitrary where we set our 0 to be. And likewise, if you take derivatives, well, the derivative of a constant will just go to zero. So you end up getting, and then you square it. So we just call this x, okay? Uh, x dot squared, I guess. So that's basically it. I hope that helped. If it did, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.